In this video, I'm going to build an ultimate upsell system for my WooCommerce shop. For example, I'm going to add a frequently bought together products as add-ons. If I add product to the cart, then the pop-up with upsell products appears. I can add those to the cart. If I go to the cart, then upsell products can be displayed also here. I can display them on the checkout page if needed. And if I click on the place for the button, then another exclusive discount will be offered to me. I can add it to my order or skip it. And on the thank you page, I can also display some additional orders. So setting this up is really easy. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. And now let's jump in. Okay, first things first, the plugin we're going to use today is called Upsell WP. This one here, as you see, currently it has more than 1000 active installations, only five star reviews. And with a free version, you'll get Checkout upsells, cart upsells, frequently bought together module, next order coupons, one click upsell offers, conditional upsell offers, customizable offer templates, offer display locations, and it also works well with the WPML. If you need more, then there is also a pro version, which allows you to create smart product recommendations, post purchase upsells, added to cart pop ups. You can also display thank you page, upsell offers. You can create double the order campaigns, next order coupons. You can display product add-ons, cart add-ons, and set up some additional conditions for the campaigns. And what's also included with the pro version is you can create A-B testing for better conversions. You can purchase the upsell WP pro version here. Let's take a look at the pricing. As you see, currently the pricing is $69 per year for single site, for five sites it's $99 per year, and for 25 sites it's $199 per year. Those are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 15% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use the coupon, and you're good to go. In this video, I'm going to use the pro version. So, I already created some campaigns, but after the installations, you'll see the Upsell WP checkout upsell menu here. Next is engines, and this is currently in beta. You can create a recommendation engine to generate upsell products. And to create one, just click on this button here or this button here. Choose the engine type, for example, generic. And here is an explanation. Choose this type to generate a list of products based on categories, tags, and more. There is also a engine type for products, cart, and order. If you choose one, then you can add your filters, sorting, and so on. I'm going to skip this part because I'm going to go to the campaigns. As you see, I have five campaigns already here. I can see the revenue, creation date, priority, and status. I can activate or deactivate. I can see the reports. I can duplicate those or delete those. For now, I'm going to deactivate all those here and I'm going to show you how to create your own campaigns. It's really easy. So I'm going to click on create new campaign button. Here I can filter based on the type. I'm going to choose all campaigns so you can see what is here. Here are the checkout upsells, cart upsells, frequently bought together, campaign post purchase, cart add-ons, product add-ons, upsell pop-ups, next order coupons, thank you page upsells, and double the order campaigns. Let's start with the pop-ups. Let's create one, give it the title. Now let's choose a trigger when the pop-up will be triggered, whether it's after the product added to the cart or click to proceed to checkout button. I'm gonna choose the first one. Next one, I'm gonna choose the product suggestion method for the campaign, whether it's related products, cross-sell products, use upsell products, I can choose a specific products or I can use a recommendation engine. That is, if I create an engine here, then I can later choose it here. But I'm going to select specific products. That is, I'm going to choose for the products I would like to display inside the pop-up. And those are only lamps. Next one, I'm going to offer a discount, whether it's percentage or fixed. I'm going to give a 10% discount. Now I can choose a pop-up template. If I click here, I can see what is the current one. How does it look like on a mobile? I can change the template 
And at the moment, there are two templates I can choose from, whether it's a slider or a list. I'm going to choose a list. I can edit the content style and change the title, call to action text. And under the design, I can change the design. I'm going to make it a bit wider and leave everything as it is. But as you see, you can customize all the elements here. After that, I'm going to click on save and go to the conditions. I'm going to choose a condition that is categories of items in the cart. I'm going to choose category lightning, save it, save and close. Now I'm going to go to the shop and let's test it. I'm going to choose a category lightning here. Let's add a product to the cart and here's my pop-up. Now I'm going to delete the product from the cart and just to test it, I'm going to go to the storage category add something to the card here and as you see no pop-up appears so works well but just to test whether i can add products to the card let's add those two here view card and done awesome i'm gonna clear the card and i'm gonna create another campaign this time it's gonna be product add-ons i'm gonna give it a title i'm gonna add a filter and these add-ons will be displayed only four product categories in lightning category. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to once again choose specific products. This time it's a product called Berry Bins and Home Edit Stacking Pantry Bin. Next one, whether to allow customers to remove add-ons from the cart, I'm going to allow that. Now I can choose whether to sync the quantity with the main product quantity. I can allow customers to change the quantity or add the fixed quantity. I'm going to allow customers to change the quantity. No discount this time. And template is this one here. I'm going to add a title frequently bought together. Let's save it. Let's save it and close it. Now I'm going to go to the lightning product category page. Open up the product and you'll see here are my product add-ons. But if I open up storage category, open up the product, then nothing is here. I can add those to the cart, add it to the cart. Let's view it. And there is a badge add-on. I can change the quantity if needed and done. Next campaign I'm going to create is a cart add-on campaign. So let's create the campaign. Give it the title. Now I can choose the display location top of the cart page, before the cart items table, after cart items table, after cart items, or use the short code. I'm going to add it after cart items table. Display method, whether it's random offer or A-B testing, let's test the A-B testing. Offer A is displayed half of the time and offer B is displayed half of the time. Now I can add two offers. I'm going to choose this product with a percentage discount of 20% off. I can choose the usage limits. Overall usage limit means that altogether only one time this offer will be used. I can also add the usage limit per customer. For example, every user can only use this offer one time. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it as this. Next is the content. I can add a minus here, change the text, change the call to action text add custom image if needed and under the design i can change the template as you see there are a couple of templates to choose from i'm going to choose this one let's save it and let's add another offer here this time it's this lamp now i'm gonna add a fixed discount the value is 20 euros no usage limits change a bit the content and choose the design the same design as the previous one. Now I'm going to save it and under the conditions I can set the conditions. I can set the start date, set the end date if needed but at the moment I'm going to leave it as it is without any conditions. I'm going to save it and close it. Go to the shop page. Let's add something to the cart for example this product here. Let's go to the cart and as you see this time the golden lamp is displayed. If I refresh the page, then the other product is displayed. 
once again if I refresh the page first product and once again second product and this is the a b testing method this way you can test which type of offers work better than other let's add it to the cart done you'll see the saved amount here now if you find this video helpful so far then don't forget to smash that like button down below here it means a lot to me and it also helps my channel so i would appreciate your help okay three campaigns created let's create another one this time it's a checkout upsell let's add a title once again whether it's random offer or a b testing this time i'm gonna leave it as random offer choose the position after the place order button let's add an offer for example this one let's give it a 15 percent discount change the text a bit also change this text if needed or button text if needed under the design we can choose the template let's see i like this one the most so i'm gonna leave it as it is let's save it and under the conditions i'm gonna display this only if the product in list is this one here i'm gonna save it save and close let's go to the lightning category let's find this product add something to the cart go to the checkout page and boom here's my offer i can get this exclusive offer it will be added to the cart and done awesome now next step let's add a post purchase campaign that is if someone clicks on the place order button before he or she will be redirected to the thank you page or payment page this offer will be displayed pay attention though that currently paypal standard payment gateway is not supported if there will be problems with a third party payment gateways then it would be wise to ask about it from the support team let's add an offer here's a preview of the page this product here percentage discount 10 percent content let's change it a bit and here's the page save it let's add a timer 10 minutes and no conditions although i can add it if needed but to keep it short let's save it and close it now let's place the order and here's my post purchase offer it says that my order is not processed yet and it says this offer expires in nine minutes and some seconds here's my offer i can add it to my order or skip it let's add it to the order now i'm gonna be redirected to my thank you page and pay attention that i'm redirected to the thank you page because i use the direct bank transfer payment gateway i don't have any other payment gateways for this demo shop now i'm on my thank you page that is let's create another campaign for the thank you page and this time let's select this one here give it the title i'm gonna keep it simple i'm gonna use related products percentage discount for every one of those 15 percent let's change the template yeah. well i like this the most edit content style change the title if needed call to action text and design you can change the image size i'm gonna make those smaller a bit let's save it next uh, display location top of the page bottom of the page before the order item summary i'm gonna choose this one here and as before you can add conditions but i'm gonna skip save and close i'm gonna refresh my thank you page and what do you know here are my upsell offers just choose one or more click on the buy now button and once again you will be redirected to the checkout page with these products added to the cart awesome okay let's see what else do we have here and we have here next order coupons let's create one give it a title coupon settings percentage discount fixed cart discount i'm gonna give a five percent discount for the next order coupon prefix change it here and when to generate the coupon processing completed orders you can change those here i'm gonna add also on hold because my shop has a direct bank transfer payment gateway and i want to test it 
Let's change the template. I like this one more. Now, where should you display this coupon on top of the thank you page? After the order details on my account page, I'm gonna choose before the order details and on emails before order details. Next, you can choose the usage limit. I'm gonna set the overall coupon generation limit to unlimited, but per customer, I'm gonna set it to one. Call to action redirect URL, I'm gonna redirect to shop page. And here's the information. Let's save it and close it. Let's test it. I'm gonna create an order. I'm gonna skip the post purchase offer. And here's my coupon. If I go to the shop page, you'll see from the URL that the coupon is already applied. That is, I'm gonna get 5% off. If I go to the my account page, then here's the coupon here. And if I open up the email, you'll see that the email also contains a coupon. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? Okay. To keep it short, I'm not going to display how to create a double order campaign. But as you see, it works basically the same as all the other ones. Let's start with settings. First, under the general, you can set up how to display the product details, whether in new tab or in current tab or in a pop-up. That is, if someone clicks on the upsell product title or image where you would like to open the product, I'm going to leave it as in a new tab. Next is discount calculate form. Whether to calculate from regular price or sale price, I'm going to leave it as regular price. Next one is exclude coupon discounts. I'm going to activate it because if the coupon is already used, then I'm not going to give double discounts. Next is smart upsell product display. It's usual to hide upsell products that are already in cart. Yes, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now there is a cart and checkout upsells. Whether to use dynamic offer display and it's usual when you're using coupon conditions. Active with this one if needed. Offer display mode is first match campaign offer or all match campaign offers. I'm going to set it to first match campaign offers. Next one, you can set how many offers your customers can pick up at the time. I'm going to leave it at one. Offer added notification message. You can change it here. Check out upsells, notification position, top of the page or within offer location. Next one is for frequently bought together. Maximum display. Next one is for post-purchase campaigns. You can choose when the offer will be displayed, whether it's before payment or after the payment. I'm going to leave it as before the payment. Display order status notification to customers. I'm going to leave it activated. Add on patch text. You can change it here. Maximum number of add-ons to display. Change it here. The same goes with the cart add-ons. Thank you upsells and upsell pop-ups. Those are the settings here. I'm going to save those and let's take a look at the short codes. These are the short codes you can use to create your own custom layouts. For example, use exclusive offers, but I created my own custom layout for it. I use these short codes inside this page. You can customize it as you like and use those short codes here. Under the compatibility, there is nothing currently. And if you would like to receive weekly email notifications, then activate this setting here. Next is the reports. You can see all the reports, for example, upsell revenue amount here, products purchased, campaigns created, offers created, and you can filter them by the campaign types, for example, cart add-ons, upsell pop-ups, frequently bought together, and so on. What I would like to point out, though, that if you need any support from the plugin support team, then you can do it here. They are really responsive. There is also a documentation page, which is really thorough. For example, the same double the order page here. Just read it through and you'll figure out what to do. Other than that, it's an awesome plugin. Easy to set up, easy to use and works like a charm. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. 
बाय